My name is Larry Fields, and I am the Executive and Artistic Director at Fantasy Theater Factory at the Sandro Rivers Theater. <laughs> Fantasy Theater Factory, we have a, a long history. We've been around for about 40 years. And you know, we started really with a focus on theater for young audiences. So that's the you know the, the theater for children in like elementary school. Amazing. <laughs> People who are theater patrons, you know, patrons of the arts, they don't just materialize into adulthood. It's it's something that people grow up doing from the time that they're children. Theater for, for kids is <laughs> is in many ways the, you know, the, the concepts are the same. It's gotta be engaging. You know, we have to keep their attention. And, you know, and children, of course, uh, you know, don't have a lot of the pretenses that adults might have. You know, an adult might sit through a, you know, really dud show and just kind of, you know, be polite and go, huh, okay. You know, but, but if, if you've lost the kids, you know it. We have roots in Commedia dell'arte and, and in, you know, sort of a broad slapstick style. So uh, with a lot of elements of clown and, and uh, you know, things like that. And and so it's really engaging. And everything that we do has a, an educational component to it. So we have a couple of our, you know, our big pillars uh, of our mission are environmental education and uh, literacy. Coming into the Sandro Rivers Theater as the managing operator, we have expanded that mission. Our mission is still primarily focused on theater for young audiences, but we've now added programming for the general community. So that includes things like our concert series and a, even a comedy series and uh, an art exhibition series. So we've really expanded what we do. And part of that also is doing theater for adult audiences too. We did a program called Deep Fake, which is about this concept of what can you believe now? And it was a devised theater piece, which is where the, you know, the creative team, the actors and the director and the designers, everyone comes together and is a collaborator. It's like uh, most things, you know, didn't, uh, you know, things did not go to plan, but happily so. Uh, I started as, as an actor, that's what I went to school for, and that's what I was uh, down here doing. I was working at all the different companies, and I, I auditioned for a company called Fantasy Theater Factory uh, as an actor, and, and they wouldn't have me uh, the first time around, uh, but persistence pays off, <laughs> and I, uh, I re-auditioned, and, and they were great. I really connected uh, with what it is that we do. Well, the San Joel Rivers Theater really is a gem uh, in our community. Uh, first of all, we're really centrally located. You know, we're right on Northwest 62nd Street and 7th Avenue, one block off of I-95. A lot of what we do is um, free and low cost. You know, five and ten dollar tickets are sort of the norm for us because, again, part of our mission is making sure that you know this is accessible to everybody. This is actually part of Miami-Dade County's plan to have smaller cultural venues in the community. So that's why, you know, Miami-Dade is doing the Westchester uh, Cultural Facility uh, further south, and and that was part of the reason that this facility was put here, um, so that you know people don't really have to leave their communities to go and experience a really you know first-rate uh, cultural uh, facility. 